this is hard. <laughs> um, for for the last couple years, I have been in a hole that seems unsurmountable, and though I may not show it, it is slowly engulfing me. After a decade in the military, I figure out it's a joke and I don't want to be a part about it anymore. We good? All right. My secret is not so well kept as there's other people in my predicament. I served 12 years in prison and been a victim of the mental health system, not being effective enough in helping people. But aside from that, all systems go, living life at 100. Why so serious? I genuinely believe in my heart that my mom's love for me is completely conditional on whether or not I become successful uh, in in my career or in my school, and that and that if I don't do well, um, I know th I feel like she won't love me and she won't care about me. Uh, and uh, and and to be honest, like uh, she's she said some things that and she's done some things where I've really needed her help, and she definitely wasn't there for me. So I, I probably I have my secret is I have deep seated trust issues against my mom, but even though I tell her I love her every day. I, my, my secret is um, <laughs> uh, food is a very big challenge for me. Um, I'm struggling with it and it go along with body image. So I'm 49 years old and my secret is that um, I struggle with vanity. And so, as a 49-year-old woman who's definitely not getting younger, I deal with aging, or actually I don't deal with it at all, and it actually holds me back. When you've grown up your whole life with the expectation of always looking good and being in shape and being thin and being the best that you can be, when beauty fades one day, they don't tell you that, that beauty fades. To my surprise, <laughs> I am going to turn 50 this year and my beauty is fading and, <clears throat> sorry, and so um, I have let the aging hold me back from so many things in just the last probably five years. I threw out all my bathing suits, most of my shorts. Basically I stopped really wanting to socialize because I look older. I've gained weight and I didn't think that I would be accepted anymore because my beauty has faded and um, that kind of, it kind of changed one day when I was hanging out with my 16 year old daughters, um, her and her friends. It was just the simplest word that she, words that she said to me but it's really like changed me in the past couple of weeks and she just looked at me and she, cause I had explained to her that I don't wear bathing suits and I just don't feel beautiful anymore because I'm getting older. And she just looked at me and she said, embrace it. There's nothing you can do about it. So just embrace it. You're beautiful the way that you are. And so I just want to get that out to anybody that's struggling with that, you know, just get rid of that vanity, get rid of that insecurity and just embrace who you are, those changes. Thank you. Uh, I come from a conservative household and it's really religious and I've grown up in that faith but recently since I've moved out I just wish my parents and my friends who are also religious could realize that I'm trying to find a relationship with my faith on my own and that doesn't mean that I will follow all the rules so like I'll follow what I can but it's my life and my connection with faith that I'm trying to figure out on my own and I wish they would just let me do that without criticizing me and telling me what to do. When I was little, I used to lie and make up stories about who my biological father actually was because I was ashamed of who he is. My dad isn't really in my life and I always joke about how like that's fun because it's like fun to be a girl with daddy issues. I really wish I made more of an effort 
to contact him because I'm sure he wants to talk to me. I guess that's my secret. Um, I guess my secret is I'm very selfish and a lot of people that meet me don't think I am, but it's something that I struggle with every day and I try to change it. My secret is that after being single for two and a half years, I'm not really sure that I want to have sex anyone with anyone for a while because I just don't want to get intimate with anyone. It's just too much of a pain in my ass and I don't have a lot of trust for people at this point anymore. When I was poor, I used to steal from groceries. Whenever the opportunity presented itself, I wasn't an aggressive thief. It was more like, oh, I left the water jug at the bottom of the grocery cart and they didn't notice and I didn't tell them about it. I did not. If anything, just more embarrassed that I was poor. I will remain anonymous. I find all people attractive and I don't think that love should be confined. So I have quarantined myself away from everybody except strangers on dating apps. When I was five years old, my mother called the fire department because we had a television that exploded. And she never knew this, but I actually urinated in the back of the TV to see what would happen. What possessed me to do that, I do not know. So, about a year ago, <laughs> I went to a party with me and my friends, and we all decided how funny would it be if I got an ass tattoo. I was like, what, what, what should I get? And, I, and as my friend was very drunk, and if you would like to see the tattoo, I can. <laughs> and so he had me bent over <laughs> a hot tub, and he kept poking my, my ass with a stick and poke to get, to get a tattoo that says, shit happens on my butt. <laughs> and that's all. <laughs> He looks sexier with new clothes. <laughs> hey, that's perfect. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? I didn't hear what she said. <laughs> I said you look sexier with new clothes. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, Daria here. Just want to let you guys know that to be safe, I do have a mark on the ground uh, so people are far enough from the mic not to touch it. Also, after every single person goes, I make sure to clean the mic. I love you guys. I hope you're staying safe. Make sure to subscribe if you want. If not, it's all good. No hard feelings. Alright, bye. <laughs> <laughs>